Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio with a 16 by 20 inch canvas that I primed with some Artist Loft a while ago. It's still kind of rough, but I've just made up a new batch of Maiden Black Acrylic. And I want to do an abstract painting and I want some black in the background. And I may use some of my colored cell activator as part of this process. That's probably more than I anticipated, but that's okay. I am going to grab... What am I going to grab? I'm going to grab the lightest color I can find that's not gold or white. And that's the cobalt turquoise. Put it on the right hand, hand side of my blade and see what happens. I've also got some dancing fuchsia, but I don't think that's going to happen yet. Now I want more cell activator color in it. So I'm going to try the Dancing Fuchsia. It doesn't matter. At this stage to me, it does not matter what happens because I can paint, add paint over anything I want. Dancing Fuchsia is a purely pigment. And I wish I'd put some... I can always add more colors. Priscilla, <laughs> chill you jets. Cat hair is not allowed. Although they don't seem to know that. So I'm going to wipe my spatula off in between and grab the Thalo turquoise. The, um, the cobalt turquoise was Atelier, so was the Thalo. Come out. Why are you not coming out? Oh, there we go. I got it. I got a slight mess, but I got it. I'm thinking that the Thalo turquoise is going to be a little bit stronger. And I love the blue that a turquoise and a fuchsia make together. Yes, I used all three. And I don't care if there's droplets. That's beautiful. Ha! <laughs> That's exactly what I was hoping for. I might even want to do it again. Or I could just let it dry and come back tomorrow. <laughs> but where's the fun in that? I wanted some gold. But I love the, how the cell activator operated acted together. Let me see if I can get this a little less unplugged. There we go. That's better. It's still dripping into my pan, but at least I have glad press and seal down there. Why are the cat hairs everywhere? I think my cat got in the studio when I wasn't looking. Atelier Cobalt Turquoise, Atelier Yellow Turquoise, and I want to go from the inside out. And Dancing Fuchsia. Because just because it's a cell activator doesn't mean it's not going to stain as well as everything else. I love calligraphy. I used to paint signs for a while. And it's hard to stop. It's hard not to want to stop, too. <laughs> it's the same difference. Now, I could probably scrape through some things, but I'm not sure how... You know what I can do? I can steal a little paint and add some marks. Or I see schmutz that I don't want to see.
Best to not get hung up too much on being perfectionist because a lot of things will be covered unless I decide to leave this. Which is, wow, my head's right there. Okay. I really do just want to leave it though. That's the weird part. I want some blue and I've got some blue and I haven't used it. I'm not even sure. It says it's Prussian blue. Must be Atelier Interactive. I'm going to try it right on the canvas because it's very liquidous and it's from quite a while ago, I'm assuming, since I don't remember making it up. And I'm also assuming puddles will probably dry darker than the rest. I kind of want some more of that cobalt turquoise right here. I know it seems funny to use cell activator not to not make cells, but I've got a bunch of these colors and I love them. I'm going to wipe that off in between. There, I got what I wanted. I got a darker color. And a little leftover. Now what will happen if I use some actual dancing fuchsia? what I can do with a scraping tool at this point. I've still got color on my spatula, which I should wipe off before it has a chance to dry. It's so much easier if you wipe it off than to try and clean it off later. That's a thing that does not belong. Where are my tweezers? Oh, there's all kinds of things that do not belong attached to my tweezers. Never mind. Um, so, where to go from here? I kind of love what I've got already and I don't want to do anything to it. Isn't that weird? Maybe I'll just add some dots. Because I can. I don't actually want to do anything to this at this stage. Well, if I don't come back, I guess it's a painted background, so it really doesn't matter. I'm going to take some of that and move it because it's a big dot. a little more. I suppose that's what I could do with the gold, but I'm really inclined to either do nothing at all or to come back when things are dry and go on because I actually really like what I've got. I know I keep saying that like I'm trying to convince myself, but it's true. All right, I'm going to be I'm going to call it quits for the moment and uh, if that's if that's a finished piece then uh, I apologize. I think I want some white dots. Maybe it's not a finished piece. Maybe I could do that. It's a little container. As soon as I get that little tab off the top that keeps it closed. So that's Vivid Intense White. From Color Art. You'll find a Color Art coupon code.
found a cat hair. I'm kind of thinking contemplating silver. I got it. I got a little scratch there too, but fortunately. There are dots to distract. My skewer seems to have a little dancing fuchsia on it, but I don't think pink dots or mostly white dots with a little pink on them is going to be a problem. I could still also do black dots, which is Definitely a possibility. I'm kind of glad that the uh, the white is the uh, vivid intense because if it were the artist loft that I usually use, it would be dendrating. Not to say it won't, because it might still do that. Sorry about my head. If I could find the exact same colors in color art, I could add more dots in prism pores and primary elements, etc. But I'm, I guess I'm giving myself therapy now. I never did scrape through, so it's a weird form of mark making that there's no scraping. And I've only got that one one bunch of marks with the dancing fuchsia. What have I got? I have Chrysocolla. I have blue flame too, which is kind of perfect actually. Whoa. Well, it was. <laughs> if you don't tell anybody that that was an accident, I won't tell anybody. could do something with that, but I don't think I want to, actually. I don't even know how much of that's going to show, because I mixed this as a primary element myself. until tomorrow. I suppose I could clean some of that up. But I like the dot. I'm leaving it. I thought about sour apple. I bet that would be pretty pretty cool in there. Let's do it. No tabs allowed. Yeah, I like that. All about the colored cell activator and a few weird dots.
Got one misshapen, but it's okay. I wasn't actually expecting to do this. I wasn't expecting to do anything that looked like this at all, to tell you the truth. But that's okay. That's sometimes where the fun is. going to bleed. I kind of got to decide where to put this. There we go. Residual. And then wipe off my tool before it hardens on there. No, I think not. But I do have a Q-tip, so I could kind of clean up some of this slight mess here. Better than it was. I have some black around here somewhere. There we go. I'm going to camouflage that schmutz. Well, I'm not sure where it's going or what's going to happen to it, but it was fun doing it. I'm kind of thinking some orange might have to come into play. Is there a place for more green? There might be. I'm back, and it's been a few weeks, and even though I love this, I want to change it a little bit. I want to try some other colors. I want to try the Dancing Fuchsia not in a cell activator. And I want to try some Hollyberry purely pigment with it. Because I can. And I've got some Vibrant Aqua. And I'm just going to try and use the rubber brush. Let's see how that goes. I've got a little bit more. I thought I would really like the holly berry. I've got red violet too. I just mixed up some red violet by accident. I was trying for the fuchsia and I didn't have my glasses on. So I've wiped that off. I don't mind that either. I don't think I'll get any color out of it if I... Let's just use it down here. Now let's try some of that Vibrant Aqua. And then I might be done. Might be in the key. Yeah, I think I like a little bit of that. I'm also going to use what I'm assuming, because it's been a while, is the blue flame. I might do that again.
Wait on the rest. That looks to me like Blue Lagoon, and I can grab some of that if I want to. I can also shuffle off anything I don't want. Let me see if I can find the Blue Lagoon. We're going to hide it. Cerulean Sea. Okay, almost there. Well, that's the Blue Lagoon, and I don't think that's exactly right. But I am going to try some of this Cyan Aqua. And maybe put a little bit more Why do I keep forgetting that blue flame? Oh, I got stuff in there. Make sure there's no more stuff on my brush. I'm really interested in this holly berry. I don't know why. Maybe it's, no, it's a, it's a lizard and rose. I'm right. I made a mistake. It's not holly berry. It looks similar. At least until you spread it out. I love a, a lizard and rose. I also love dancing fuchsia, so. just felt like something was required and I wasn't too sure what it was. And it might just be that this is the right, exactly right thing. I think I can go for a little bit more dancing fuchsia there. And here, even though there's some alizarin rose left on there. Use my residuals anywhere I want. Oh, that's interesting. The periwinkle is interrupting my turntable. I'm still interested in more turquoise, I guess. Vibrant aqua. Make sure it's completely open. Come on. That just makes me want to put dots down instead. And I'm kind of interested, actually, in putting a little white in. This is the titanium white. Oh, that's my head, titanium white.
Not sure that's helping or not. It's not going to keep me from playing a little bit. Sure, where else? I kind of want to go right there. I'm liking the white. I could actually texturize it, but I don't know that that's the right thing to do. I'm having fun and I don't want to stop. I do like leading the ends out so there isn't a little ball in them. I've always wanted to do this and I don't know why I haven't before but I'm glad I am now. Although that one kind of skipped a little bit. One more? Not sure. Maybe two more. That one will probably turn pink. There. Am I done? I'm not sure. I've got some inky stuff here somewhere. I'm kind of feeling like using it. If I can get it to come out. Which it doesn't seem like it wants to very easily. Bad thing to turn, test something out on the canvas. Although that was kind of cool. I can live with that. This is the one I kept feeling it needed to have happen. And that's just bugging me. How about some black dots? It's got a whole lot more movement to it. I like it. I'm not so sure about the dashes that keep coming out, but I'll live with them. Just got to learn to squeeze a little harder, I guess. I feel like something here, and then, and then I'm going to be very close to being done. I don't know if it needed anything I gave it, but I don't think it hurt it any. I 
And sometimes if you keep going, you reach a new level of appreciation. Keep your fingers crossed that that's the case in this, this time. Kind of feeling like using some of that um, blue flame. liking that. Doesn't keep me from wanting dancing fuchsia though. I'm going to use some dancing fuchsia. That's all there is to it. Cross your fingers. I'm pretty sure that's the thing that's going to satisfy my cravings. Looks like there's a few dots of it already that I forgot I added. Hearing in my head is a little more white, only it's going to be dots. White is turning pink down here from the dancing fuchsia. So I love you guys, you can spare me always. I'm sorry about all the times my head gets in the way. Like that maybe. I'm glad I finally got comfortable and gave myself permission. I think that's it. We're very close to being it. I'm going to add some more lizard neuros. Don't think I can make it show up on the black, so I'll give it a miss. Tell you guys I love you. 
Thank you for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for watching longer. It speaks to the YouTube algorithm. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com if you'd like to inquire about taking a class with me at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, one on one, or purchasing an artwork. Linked here, you'll find promo codes for color art products and pixel paint designs, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, a couple of my websites, my Amazon link, volumes one and volumes two of my books are on the Amazon link. Because I can and unlimited possibilities, the first and the second hundred videos I made for YouTube. Que questions are welcome and encouraged. My community board will show you tomorrow's video at around 2 p.m., hopefully. There'll be something else. Thank you. Thank you to all my patrons. Thank you to the members. Thank you to um, those of you who use PayPal to make a donation to keep me painting. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys endlessly, and you inspire me always. My paint pouring recipes below show more, and I have 34 playlists. I have 100 videos each, and everything's organized by topic and genre. <laughs> if you need anything, don't forget. Ask questions. It's fine. Thank you for being here. Bye for now. Priscilla out.